Hi everyone, um, before you watch this video, I just want to apologize for all the times I've said um, um, in the whole video. It is my first uh, video talking about this, I'm still doing it right now. But anyways, please um, forgive me and I hope you enjoy the video. Bye bye. Um, I've actually shared on, um, on Notion Reddit my task management system and I got around 700 likes and 80 comments um, and a lot of people seemed very interested interested in this template and a lot of people were asking uh, for me to do a template so I finally got some time and I and I did make one uh, which you can get for free on my Twitter which is just PhD Notion um, and I thought in this video I would walk you through what I'm doing in my system as well as walk through um, the new template that I've made for you. So this is just my home page and I will just go to my tasks. So um, this is the main um, page that I use for my task management. Um, I do have a today page but I tend to come to this one more um, just because I think I have more of an overview of what's going on. So starting at the top on the left um, on the left side I have um, an incorporation of my Outlook calendar, which is um, where I have all my events for my PhD. Um, so I can just refer to that for my events. Uh, on the right side, I have just a link for my Today page, which I will go to afterwards. Uh, this is um, a view of my tasks with um, some filters. So obviously the status is not done, so all the tasks that aren't done. Um, I also put that this is not uh, personal tasks. I think I did this especially for this video because usually I like having all my tasks, but I do have um, the category personal um, in there as well. Um, and then I also have that the date is on or before today. So for example, if I didn't do the tasks from yesterday or the day before, they would still uh, come up here even if they don't have the date today, if, they're be if they are before. Uh, then I have uh, sorted this by priority, so the numbers you see here, which a lot of people were interested in, are just my priority assessment. It goes um, from 1 to 5, I think, but I tend to use 1, 2, 3 only. Um, basically, if I want to do something today or as soon as I possibly can, I'll put it with a 1, and then um, with the 2 stuff that has to be kept in mind but not urgent, and then 3 is more like whenever I have time, I'll do it. Um, if we go down a little bit, this is um, the most interesting part in my opinion. This is where I spend most of the time at least. Um, so starting with the left um, side, I've got all tasks. So this should include, um, okay, this is a little bit more complicated. So I don't include your uh, events, meetings and appointments. It's just um, normal tasks. That's the first, um, the first part here. And then I've got that the status is not on hold or submitted. So it's not done or on hold or submitted. Um, and that is because you will see at the bottom I have a specific area for that. And then once again I put that this is not a personal task and I have priority is one. So this is more like um, the things that I have to do as soon as possible. Um, then I have give it a date. So this is the tasks that don't have a date assigned to them. And the way I um, the, the way I like to do things is I don't I don't really like going inside a task and having to because as you can see it is the, I have a lot of properties that relate to a lot of different things because I use this um, database in conjugation with other databases so I find it, I find it a little bit chaotic to come in this area so what I tend to do is I just click a new task wherever I am and then obviously it won't have a date so it'll be here. So I'll just look at it um, and just be like, okay, maybe I'll do it uh, on this day. And I just click and drag. Um, uh, and then um, and then it's, it's assigned a date and I can see what am I supposed to be doing um, on a certain date in the calendar. So at the bottom here, I've got, as it says, tasks that are on hold. And this means um, on hold or submitted because if I submit a document to my... Um, my supervisors technically that's also on hold but I've actually done work on that task already the task has been completed 
but I haven't ticked it off because I want to keep in mind that I still must get a feedback um, from my supervisors. And I also have that this is not an event because um, it, for me it doesn't matter to have um, the events in here because in order for me to look at my events, I look at my calendar mostly. So as you can see, it's just a calendar. I've got um, a few different views. So this one is no personal tasks. So for example, if I want to go through this with my supervisors, I don't want my personal tasks to be in this calendar. But I've also got one that is just personal tasks. Um, I've got one that is just events. Um, and then I've got uh, this week, which is a timeline view, um, which I haven't been using much. Uh, and then all tasks and events, but I like keeping it on no personal tasks. So it's all my work in one place. Um, I've also got, I, 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 I'm showing the status here to make sure that I am um, doing what I'm supposed to be or I can have a look and see, oh wait, I forgot something on a certain day. It helps me have a visual a representation of how my days have been. So that's basically um, the main thing about this template. It goes uh, way more complicated when you, um, as you saw, when you um, tie it with other databases, but that's uh, for another video. Um, maybe I would show you, this is not part of the template. Um, this is just um, my thesis planning. So this is just a, a linked database so I, I keep it here because I like having uh, a bird's eye view of the months to come. And these are like the big, big tasks that have to be completed in each month. And then at the bottom here, and I did include this on my template, is uh, a weekly schedule. I don't know if this is the right wording for it, but uh, this is what I aspire to be spending my time doing throughout the week. But honestly, it's just... Um, just a reference point, something to think about. I don't really, I don't really follow this. I try, but it is, it is not that easy. <laughs> and I just have a toggle there because it's not that necessary. Um, this just links to my thesis planning, just so I can go have a look at my. Uh, I can actually show you briefly. I have my Gantt chart here, and then I can access different parts of my thesis and in my thesis planning. And here is what you saw with a plan by month, but we can leave that to uh, another video. So I would like to show you now um, the template that I've made for you because it looks slightly different. Um, and I think I improved it for you. Um, so this is when you when you open uh, the link that I will send you. This is what it looks like. It, it has a brief interview about me, my Twitter account, which you can contact if you have any questions or if something is not working. And then I've got the, I didn't include the Outlook, Outlook um, incorporation because obviously that's something that you have to do with your account and log in with, in with your account and everything. But I did include the today section, which once again is filtered by on or before today. Um, and is also sorted by the status, priority and energy. Uh, one thing I like to do, um, I actually didn't speak about the energy yet, but we'll get there. One thing I like to do is um, keep in the in this today um, section, I don't like um, hiding the done tasks because I think it's quite nice for you to see your progress and see the list of things that you've actually accomplished. So to add a new, let's just add a new task, shall we? So let's say new task. Um, as you can see, the date immediately um, shows today's date because it's filtered for today. You can choose a priority and I will um, I will tell you about this zero in a second. Um, but you can choose a priority. Um, you, if, you, if you want to just say one, two, three, um, you can because as you saw, I rarely use four and five. And then I've got energy, high energy, medium energy and low energy. When I've got a deadline as well, because some things you, you want to do it over a few days, um, but there's a deadline you're working towards. And here in the calendar, I've actually included a, a calendar that shows when the task is and a calendar that shows just the deadlines. So when is when you're doing the tasks and then you just refer to the deadlines to know when you need to, what, what's, your, what's your goal to finish that task, um, what's the time period. Uh, and in this um, template, I've also included previous task 
and follow-up task um, and this is something I also have in mind so for example if um, you know you're going, going to be doing a task that is dependent on that new task right so you can only do this task after you've done that task but you don't want to forget about it so what you do is um, since this task is depending on the other one you go up here and you say that the previous task is new task and as you can see it will automatically populate to show that the follow-up task is this one and this is very useful when you have like bigger tasks and smaller tasks um, and then uh, as you can see there's some icons there and the, the way you get those is you could just go here and when you add a new task you just choose if you want a I'm actually gonna change this uh, maybe like this so you can choose if it's a normal task and then it'll automatically come up like this but as I said I think I get a bit overwhelmed by this these pages so if I can do everything from here I rather do that so what I prefer doing which is I does doesn't make sense because you still have to open it but I, I just prefer going here and clicking normal task and going back and then dependent the task uh, let's say this one is on hold so now you can see it just puts um, the icons and besides that it also auto populates um, the status so the statuses I have here are meeting to do in progress on hold and done and you can change these based on what you are doing for example mine you saw I have submitted as well so you just can add a new tag here um, and as you can see the dependent tag immediately um, put a status saying on hold and that's something that is on each template so if I go to the template you see that it has a status on it already and the urgent and important task it will give a priority of one immediately um, and the normal task it will just um, say to do and put the icon uh, the meeting is something interesting that actually came up while I was making this template because I think it's just so nice that when you have your list of tasks organized by um, priority it just looks so nice if all the meetings are on top um, because that's something you can't um, run away from unfortunately sometimes um, but so I think the zero works really well so if I, w if I was to add a new meeting here and I just don't do anything else I just click meeting you will automatically um, choose meeting and actually won't automatically put the priority one so okay I'm just going to add that because that's way easier so let's try again let's delete this one and just try meeting um, and just click new meeting and there we go now we have the priority going immediately in there um, and just in case you want to change the date um, because you added it here and you didn't mean to so when you see it it doesn't make sense in your calendar so you can just um, you can just move it around move it around either in the calendar or bring it here to the right um, date you want so um, I think that part is more or less explained you'll find the same properties here so nothing is hidden in this view here we've got list views um, showing the priority on the right side and once again it's just filtered for the status is not done and sorted by priority give it a date it's the same thing as in my system so um, the when is empty uh, and the status is not done or not on hold and at the bottom it's the tasks that are um, on hold and they are once again sorted by priority um, I've also included um, as you can see I've also included a, a template so you can design your the week your perfect ideal week and I included as well um, a picture of how mine looks so people can have um, an idea of what I mean so I think that's basically it um, I would love if you could try it out and tell me what you think about it I'm sure there might be flaws because I just did this as quickly as I can and I based it as much as possible on my system even though my system is a little more complex with the with the relations um, but as I, as I said you can contact me on Twitter on PhD Notion um, it will be on the description below and um, 
and you 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 will find the tweet um, w that includes the instructions to get the template, and I'll just DM it to you for free. So um, I don't know. I don't think we we got into much detail about my other properties, but maybe I can make a video on like my whole system and how I how I connect everything. Um, oh, something else I do, uh, which is this go to today, which is my today page, and I use the same um, same database as you can see here for my today's tasks and events. Um, so it's everything that is once again today or before today. I include my project. There's a little bit more information here, so I include the project. Um, actually, um, sorry, this is this is such a a problem for visual people because I don't like. I like having the priority on the right and I actually don't like this view at all so maybe you can have a look at how I try to make things a little neater um, maybe even put the area before the status yeah I think I'm happy with that uh, the, you see these uh, tick, tick boxes here this is um, Sometimes, as I said, I don't like going inside and changing the status manually, so I just like keeping it like this, so I know um, at least I'm getting things done, and then whenever I have time, I'll go in and and change it to done. But it's just a way to to make it um, to make it um, visible um, and and know that I've accomplished something. <laughs> Um, and I'm seeing here that things are not ordered by priority, as you can see, and I was trying to figure out why. Um, interesting. I think I'd rather have it this way. I don't know why it wasn't. But anyways, you see, you always find things. I'm always changing things every time. Um, and on my today page, besides that, I have um, my journal, so I write one sentence a day. So this is filtered for today so every day I just come here write my sentence of the day and click that I've done it uh, and as you can see that will automatically populate there as well but this is a different um, database where I do my habit tracking which is not much it's just four things um, and I've also had I also in the same uh, database I have links to uh, like my knowledge hub and my um, PhD knowledge hub um, yeah, so that's my today page, which involves um, other databases, as you can see. And I've got my weekly, which is also part, kind of part of my task management, but not really because I do include, I do choose two main tasks, one or two main tasks for the week, which are linked to my my weekly view. So I've got my focus, which is linked to my areas and projects. I've got the events of the week, and I've got my main tasks. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I am available if you have any questions, even if it's like super beginner questions, if I didn't explain something well, or if you'd like to know more information about any part of my system, please feel free to comment down below or message me on my Twitter. Um, and please don't forget to subscribe because I will be, uh, hopefully I will be posting more videos and I will be sharing more about my system which has evolved a lot through time uh, I'm pretty confident on it now I think it's a pretty robust system and it includes a lot of things as a PhD student so uh, I hope I will see you very soon thanks so much for watching bye bye